Hello everyone, and welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be taking a closer look at a piece in our permanent collection and posing a question for discussion. If that interests you, check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new piece and a new conversation. My name is Kiara Galloway, I work for Visitor Services, and I will be discussing Ursula von Reidingsvard's piece, Lace Mountains. Ursula von Reidingsvard was born in 1942 in Dienzen, Germany, um, which at that time was Nazi Germany. She is of Polish descent and she spent most of her time moving back and forth between refugee camps for displaced Polish people. So with that being said, as a young child, she didn't have a lot of personal belongings. She actually didn't have a lot of toys to play with either or anything to really like capture her attention. So she spent a lot of her childhood playing with found objects like kitchen utensils, bricks, sticks, plants, frolicking in meadows, playing in forests, but most of all, um, actually playing in the ruins of bombed houses. And because of these experiences, this really informed the basis of how she creates work and how she sees the world and how she sees her work. Ursula von Reidingsvard is a sculptor and some of her work is realistic and depicts more static objects such as like wooden spoons. But as she evolved in her career, she started making more non-representational work that resembled bodies and landscapes. Um, all of these things drawn from her childhood. Her primary medium of choice is Western red cedar. She claims the medium is a bit more organic and easier to carve. It's softer and in her own words, it's more sensual. I think it lends itself better too to the subject matter seeing that she She's depicting more landscapes and more organic forms such as bodies and um, mountain ranges. I think the um, red cedar is a good choice and um, it lends itself well to her work. At one point she did work with metal but she felt that wood was a much better fit. Her work is very labor intensive and involves her cutting up a bunch of wood with saws um, and a variety of different shapes and pieces and then gluing them together slab by slab. This entire process usually takes about a year. One thing that I think is very interesting about um, Von Reidingsvard's work is the fact that it's very, first of all, it's monolithic. It's very large and intimidating, but it's very soft and gentle. You know, it's very firm and it's rooted in the ground. It's rooted in the earth and it has its like stable footing but it's also very moving and very soft and it's a nice juxtaposition that really does balance itself in her work the piece lace mountains as well as all of her work like i said is very intricate and labor intensive and part of the reason why um this labor intensiveness is so integral to the work is because her ancestors and her parents were forced to do very labor intensive work as working class people you know they oftentimes spent long hours and long days working and chopping wood and working in environments that force them to use their bodies and exhaust themselves for capital and so part of her artistic practice is kind of performing that labor as a way to pay homage um her work has been described as like if a piece of a landscape grew legs and walked into um, a museum or in our case a cincinnati art museum her pieces are just these very gentle giants that just look so natural. One of my favorite things about this piece is that it's very playful to the eye. It's three-dimensional, but at the same time, it's two-dimensional. And it's one of those pieces you can get lost in all day. One thing I always notice is it looks like faces to me. When I look at the front of it, it looks like a lineup of different faces and all the nooks and crannies just look like featured. So that kind of leads to my question. What do you see when you look at this piece? Do you see the landscapes? Do you see faces? We'd love to hear from you. Um, and thanks so much for watching. All right, bye.